Okay, lesson 26, possessive nouns. So the possessive noun um, shows the ownership of the noun that follows. Okay, so, you know, Bob's hat. We know the hat belongs to Bob. Okay. Um, we show possessive nouns with the use of apostrophes and S's. Okay, so this is very important because where we place the possessive noun determines if it's plural or singular. Okay, so for singular ones, very simple. You know, we have Mike and TV are the noun. To make it Mike's TV so that Mike owns the TV, we put an apostrophe and an S at the end of Mike. Okay, number two, we have an S because Chris is spelled with an S at the end. And so it, he's not plural, it's just one Chris. So we're going to put the apostrophe S, and then we have the, the noun that follows. So Chris's book. Okay, so these are both singular. We're going to go into plural. What you do with plural is that you're going to add the, the apostrophe at the end of the word if it has an S on it. Okay, so um, the example, the Browns car. So we're talking about the family, right? The family, the Browns. And so we're referring to them in the plural. So they have the S already on it. And so what you do, we don't need to add another S because it already has an S. We put the apostrophe behind that S, okay? Um, her chicken's food, right? We're talking about many chickens here. And so we put the apostrophe at the end so that we know it's plural. And that's, it's, it's a very small movement to have it from here to here, but it makes a big difference in the meaning of the sentence, okay? So look down here. If we had put the apostrophe before the S, the Brown's car, that would be, the Brown would be one, like one Brown, but we know that with having the V there, it can't just be one, we're referring to a family. So we're not talking about a singular Brown, you know, the family member Brown. We're talking about a family, okay? So the Brown's car, um, her chicken's food, and up here we have, she has many chickens. Down here, she obviously just has one chicken, okay? So it's a small distinction, but it's a very important one. So make sure you pay attention to that when you're doing your exercises. And then we have another type that's the irregular, okay? Um, you need to essentially treat it the same as the singular. So with our irregular verb, uh, nouns, we're not going to have the spelling of the plural. We're not, we don't have the S, right? So like child becomes children, okay? So we don't have children's, right? So what we do is we can just add the apostrophe S just like the singular, okay? So you take it from the children's hour, but if you did it like a plural, even though these are plural, right? Um, we're not adding the S on the end, so we have, here we have the children's hour, but that would be having the children, so you already have children as plural, we don't need that extra S, it's unnecessary. So make sure you have that apostrophe here, not here, okay? So as you go through the lesson, you know, you'll have a chance to practice this, but it's very important that a little movement of the apostrophe is paid, you have to pay very close attention to it. Okay?